A secession rally at the Alabama State Capitol building in Montgomery was called off Saturday when only about 30 people showed up. Now, 30 people, that is far short of the expected 300 by rally uh, organizers. And this is reported by the Montgomery Advertiser. Now, what's funny is that the organizer says that we were shocked when nobody showed up. Wait, so, so you hold a rally saying that you want to leave the United States, and then you're shocked when nobody wants to show up. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, uh, the organizer was Frida Mincy Burton. And she said, this is really shocking to me that these people aren't here. Really? Really? Okay, well, let's get into this. And this is reported by Raw Story. Now, this event, which had been promoted on the Alabama Flaggers Facebook page, was intended as a call to arms for Alabama citizens who were, quote, tired of being walked on. To that I asked, who are you being walked on? By the gays? Are they walking on you by actually being able to get married? Or what? Like, who, who's walking on you? I'd love to know. Quote, we are rallying for the secession from the United States of America. Bring your flags. Bring your secession flags. Bring your secession signs. According to this Facebook post. Bring your flags. Now, don't bring an American flag. Because that would be incredibly ironic because what you're calling for is to leave America. Don't bring your American flags, folks. Because that would be ironic. Okay. <laughs> As I said, 30 people showed up, including the event organizers, who moved the rally to Saturday from Friday in the hopes of attracting a larger crowd. Now, according to uh, rally organizer Justin Burton, he's like, well, maybe people didn't show up because the idea of secession might be frightening to some people. Yeah. I think so. A little frightening? No shit. Quote, getting the majority is the biggest obstacle. People don't understand secession and are scared. They don't know what is involved. And now all they see is civil war. Well, maybe they see civil war because that's what fucking happened last time. I'm just saying, that's what happened last time. You guys tried this once already, and you failed. And then afterwards, you promised not to do it again. So, here you are trying to do it again. According to Mincy Burton and her husband, they're not racist though. No, no, we're not racist at all. They just see the removal of the Confederate flag by Alabama's governor as stripping them of their heritage. Heritage? What heritage? Tell me, tell me exactly what heritage you're feeling you're being stripped of. The heritage of the flag is racist. It's the flag of defending slavery. And you say, no, we're not racist. We're just going to defend the flag and call for secession of our country because we're not racist. No, we're so not racist that we're going to defend this flag that stood for racism. Remember, this was brought back in the 1960s to protest Racial integration. We don't want black people going to school with our kids. Our white children. I don't know about you, man, but that's pretty racist. Now, they continue with this quote. The Civil War happened, and there's not anything anybody can do to sweep it under the rug. Nobody's doing that, dude. Nobody's trying to sweep it under the rug. They're just trying to say, hey, let's not put up statues and flags that honor traitors to America. That's like you putting up an ISIS flag in your backyard. Well, okay, not a great comparison. I'll give you that. But it's essentially a flag of treason. Which is different, but no less offensive to actual Americans. 
taking the flag, taking the battle flag down, taking statues of Robert E. Lee down, that's like taking George Washington out of the Revolutionary War. This happened. Face it and get over it. Hey, you know what else you can get over? You lost. You lost, you get over it. What we're doing is that we're taking down statues and flags of treason. These people were people that hated America enough to leave. And yet here you are, hating America enough to want to leave. But I suppose the irony is lost on people like this.